Sacrifice, Honor, and Courage. Saturday morning in Vienna, city and state officials along with soldiers helped rededicate the Neil Cook Cemetery. It was a time to remember 27 veterans who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. We have war veterans that are buried here from the Civil War, World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And we're going to commemorate the cemetery and the service of those veterans and all veterans nationwide that have uh, given to our country over the years. Some of those in attendance spoke about the importance of remembering those who fought for our freedom. Retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Greg Smith told a heartwarming story about a teacher taking desk out of her classroom to have students realize the importance of honoring our veterans. But it is up to you to sit here and, be, and it has your responsibility to earn and to learn and to be good students and good citizens because they paid a price for you to have that desk. One of the veterans in attendance was Eugene Stump of the U.S. Navy. He served in World War II. It, it's uh, something that we, we and they all earn, and I was proud to serve in, in my country and do what I could to win the war. People at the cemetery had some kind words they would like to say to the vets here in the valley and across the nation. I thank you for what your children and your lost one was willing to do for me. Thank you for your service. Thank you for defending us. And thank Downtown Marietta was invaded by shoppers as they made their way to area small businesses. It's all part of Small Business Saturday. Business owners enjoy every minute of getting customers into their store for a look at what they have to offer. Oh, Small Business Saturday has been absolutely awesome. People are having fun, they're getting good deals, they're glad to be in town, and most of all, we are grateful. Shoppers in the historic downtown Marietta seem to enjoy the benefits of Small Business Saturday compared to Black Friday. It's not all the hustle and bustle. It's kind of, you know, you just can go at your leisure way and enjoy the day of shopping and spending time with family and friends. Well this is much more fun. You get to see people that you know and it's more of a family friendly community feeling rather than just let's knock people out of the way to get a better deal. Saturday the stores gave out offers you can't get any place else. We had Black Friday discounts which meant 20 percent off the whole store and in addition to some areas where there were larger discounts and we decided to carry it over to Saturday. We've got $21 flags on sale for $8, so some of our banners are just an outstanding deal. We've got a little flagpole set, that a mini flagpole set that's $7, and the pole itself would cost 10 And this special shopping holiday also plays a major role in improving downtown business. It's a lot of challenges, and they really need the business and the steady business. So not just for the holiday season, but it really reminds people that you put your values into the community, and that's what we're doing today. Stanley Jefferson, WTAP News, Marietta. Uh, it was pretty strange uh, to me simply for the fact that I thought I was going to wake up to lightning and thunder and real bad winds, but honestly, it, it's just come down to be a God thing for me. Several homeowners got into the Holiday Spirit Sunday as they transformed their homes into a Christmas wonderland. It's all part of the 46th annual holiday trail put on by the Parkersburg Women's Club. Every year we try to do something different. Um, this year we have a great variety of homes from the classical to uh, the traditional to the um, old-fashioned. People braved out the snow to check out five Wood County homes and a church. They enjoy seeing the interior and exterior style of the homes along with numerous tree ornaments and eye-opening decorations. The Holly Trail is a wonderful opportunity for the citizens of Parkersburg, Vienna, Wood County to come and see some absolutely positively beautiful homes and decorations. 
I think it's really exceptional. Uh, there are some different homes. Uh, we just came from the McDonough House, which as uh, they say before, is very stunning. But I also really liked um, the one down on Murdick. For homeowners like Dustin Hughes, it's a thrill to open his doors and show the community his home during the holidays. I'm really fortunate that I'm able to participate with the Women's Club in doing the event. I mean, being able to help them uh, reach their goals and what they can do for the Parkersburg community is like fantastic. As the tour wrapped up, everyone seemed to be picking their favorites. The Riccobini home, it is steeped in history and is a wonderful example for this area. The one on Murdick, uh, it is old, um, has some uh, nice renovations to it, but it still has the Victorian and the old atmosphere. Appreciating those kind words, Hugh say he'll open his home for future tours. Absolutely. I definitely would do it again. Uh, probably not next year, uh, but I need to take a little bit of a break from it. Stanley Jefferson, WTAP News, Wood County. I think the Christmas parade is very um, fun for kids, um, especially at the end. It gives them something to look forward to. It's going to be fun to watch it and see all the, fl all the stuff going to be in it. We've been working hard at this. We have certain routines we're doing. We have a one minute segment at Herald Square. Go Jump Co! But the biggest thing is these kids get to exercise. They get to go to New York City, meet up with their friends, and represent the sport of jump rope.